Zeke Elliott on our Instagram, Instagram.com slash Cowboys Can Fan. Um, and Zeke Elliott has 80 touchdowns. He's the third ranked Dallas Cowboys in terms of uh, career touchdowns for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, and if you would have asked me where Zeke was on the list of most touchdowns out of any Cowboy that ever played, I wouldn't have had him at three. Where would you put him? I, I would have had him top 10. But okay. I, I didn't know. I Like I thought, in my mind, I thought Dez had more than him. I thought Michael Irvin would have had more touchdowns than him. He I just, thought he, he was very, he, when you look at his seasons, he's been very consistent. Yeah. So for me, always, I, double, I, always double digits. I, touchdowns. I, exactly. I did think, okay, he's probably very close, if not in the top five, but the Cowboys have such a long history. I mean, there's got to be guys who have had many, many touchdowns, but it's just not true. Number two, Tony Dorsett. 86 touchdowns, six ahead, and of course, then Emmett Smith, 160. Has more than, or has the the exact, almost the almost, exact same yeah. amount as as then, Dorsett and Elliott combined. But yeah, it it has Ezekiel Elliott here, and I just thought it was interesting that he has a chance Zeke to surpass Cowboys Hall of Famer Tony Dorsett this season is, if he scores six or more touchdowns. Now, is this rushing touchdowns? No, it's 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 all it's combined. Purpose. Yeah, so okay. that's purpose. really it's a, a really good chance Zeke. Oh man! I mean, you look at Zeke. Year. His last two years with the Cowboys, he had over he almost he had over twenty five touchdowns. How, how can, so, okay, so hundred and a third of that one hundred and sixty four yeah. by Emmett Smith is insane. How many uh, of those were rushing touchdowns by Emmett Smith? If you look at his all, if it, it just his rush, rush, rushing touchdowns, he's from Russian. His he's from, Russian he's touchdowns. From Russia. He's from Russian. But I I think the odds of Zeke passing Dorsett, barring any type of major injury is pretty good. Like would Zeke's more than likely going to be picking up a lot of short yard downage. The only reason he didn't have more touchdowns with the Patriots is because the guy ahead of him, they had very similar talents and similar short down stuff where Zeke right now is probably our best short downage yard guy. Well, I believe this looks incorrect, but um, no, he got nine touchdowns last year, rushing touchdowns. Yeah, but this is just for Cowboys touchdowns. Right. But I'm just saying who Zeke if- did. Yeah, I thought he had three rushing, and maybe this is incorrect. Let me uh, double check here. Sorry, I, I'm I was just looking just... at the old wiki, but they're pulling it from Pro Football here, and Pro Football is a good website. Ezekiel Elliott stats. He's looking at Emmett Smith stats. Oh, f- no, sorry, that's what I was looking at. Sorry, oh, yeah. Emmett Smith. Touch my hand. What do you want to know about Emmett? I Smith? just want to know how many of his out of those 164 were rushing touchdowns. What's his? That that actually, I guess those are rushing because he got 164 rushing touchdowns with the Cowboys. Or yeah, total? and 11 receiving touchdowns. Oh, yeah. that's that's not with the Cowboys. He's also right. got Arizona. So because on this yes, list, right. I I clipped out other guys, but Des Bryant was like so. Des Bryant was fourth on this list. Yeah, so 164 total touchdowns with the Cowboys of those. Uh, 153 were rushing touchdowns. So not a whole the, bunch for Cowboys. not a whole bunch receiving. How many receiving did we're we're just get we're making Stat Boy work. Stat J. How many work receiving? Today. How many? Stat J. No for Zeke. NFL st- season statistics for so this is Ezekiel Elliott right now, correct? Yeah. So he has uh, 68 with Dallas rushing touchdowns and 12. Okay. Receiving touchdowns. That's a pretty good split for a running back. So Zeke already has more receiving touchdowns yeah, than yeah. Emmett. So his his odds of be, getting past to, Tony Dorsett are pretty good. Yeah, I mean, even last year with even last year with the Patriots, he had five, he had five touchdowns, and he's going to get a hell of a lot more attempts. He actually had a lot of attempts with the Patriots. 184, like that's quite yeah. a bit. And then we 184 we, with a 3.5, a dude at his age, and what what the Cowboys experienced last year. I will sign me up for that this year as like our no. I don't want that to be our number one, but if he's our st- solid number two, that means we have a better number one. I'll take that all day. And look how he had fifty-one receptions last season. I know, like the That's dude. Crazy. Look at his rece- I mean, you look at his receptions all time for Zeke. I, and you could probably re- rewind. I shit on on Zeke, but then well, not. I didn't figure, te- figuratively. Figuratively, yeah, figuratively. It wasn't. A, I didn't sneak into his bedroom and then. Big old coin curler. You didn't uh, didn't do spawn all over him. I didn't leave an amber herd on his chest. Big old corn curler on his forehead. (laughs) Yeah, Chilliwack (laughs) corn. (laughs) Some of that sweet peach and sweet. What is it called? Sweet Uh, corn, peaches and peaches. Peaches and and cream. Peaches and cream. But I also like this split. Five game starts, 17 games played. So we played in all the all the games. Yeah. And still got 184 attempts. He was utilized. Yep. But it was with the Patriots. So you take that into account. I mean, we're we're very hopeful with the offensive line that we have in Dallas. Uh, a lot of um, 
hopium going towards how these rookies are going to produce for us. But if they are all that we think they are, and there's no reason that they can't be, I would expect to see more of the, the, a 2020, I wouldn't say 2021. I guess his, I guess it would be the 2021 season, but I think, yeah, that would be good. A 2022 season. Look at his Sorry, first 2022 four, season. Look at his first, first four seasons, man. Jeez. But a 2020, if he repeats or gets anywhere close within this 2022 season, Oh, yeah. I don't want him to repeat. I want him to three-peat. Three-peat, baby. <laughs> I just don't want to see a downtrend on his, because he has a clear clear oh, downtrend oh. of stats going with his yards per carry. Mm-hmm. Like, it's noticeable. Started off high fours, kind of bleed, bled down to three eight. to low, low fours. Then it was in the three eights, three five. Like, we don't want to see a three. No, no. Like, that. that's the trend of his yards per carry is saying that he should have a 3.0. So I'm hoping he has a bounce back season and gets us at least a, I, as no matter what he does, I just hope he has like a four, a four and a half yard per carry average. Um, and, and that was, that's kind of the thing that twisted my opinion about thinking that he can at least hold to that three, five or above is because it was with the, pe- uh, exactly. Patriots, so exactly.